Hi, and welcome back to Real Life Fishing. Uh, guess what we're gonna talk about now? That's right, tools. So you guys heard me mention it in uh, what's on my boat, but having a good set of tools on your boat is very, very important. Um, at a minimum, th this is what I recommend. Uh, and this is actually uh, all that we carry on a, on a regular basis. I, I do have some other tools for uh, lure repair and, and things like that, uh, um, you know, cable crimpers and, and whatnot for, for fixing leaders and, and that kind of thing for musky fishing. But uh, uh, by and large, this is what we carry on a, on a daily basis, right? So uh, three of these five tools are made by CUDA. Um, see if I can get a picture of the, the uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys can see the, the logo there. Yeah. So you can get these from uh, Tackle Warehouse uh, or Amazon. Um, but uh, you can see these, uh, these pliers here, uh, they've got a split ring on the end of them, and then uh, they've got a couple of couple of holes through there, uh, if you can see those holes for uh, bending wire. And then they've got a, a cutter on them, um, which will not cut hooks and barely cuts cable, so I'm not sure what that's doing on there. I've never used it, but they're, they're really nice. Uh, they're long, they're spring-loaded, um, so they, they just open right back up for you. Um, and they work great for removing you know, three aughts and, and four aughts out of bass and, and larger stuff out of, uh, out of muskies even, right? And then uh, these, these little guys here, um, so these are also made by CUDA. Uh, you, can, you should be able to tell by the, the handle, but there you go, there's the logo. So these are little, little teeny pair of scissors. I mean, you know, look at, look at how small these are, right? I can hold them like that. Um, you know, so I, I use these for uh, cutting line Right. Uh, I used to just be a big believer and, you know, carry a pocket knife and I still carry a pocket knife. You, you should also carry a pocket knife. But uh, these things for, for cutting line, for rigging, for, for tying back up again, uh, these work so much better uh, than, than a pocket knife. They really do. I don't know if you'll be able to get this on the, the video or not here, but um, yeah, there you go. Perfect. See the, the jaws have these little teeny teeth in them uh, on the or the blades, I suppose. Right. Uh, on, on both sides. Right, and so they, they grab line or braid, right? These, these will cut braid like nobody's business. I mean, these are, these are outstanding. Um, and these, these scissors are like, I don't know, four or five bucks uh, on Amazon, right? Um, you know, we, we've got, you know, I carry a pair up in the front, we've got a pair in the back. I've actually got a spare pair on the rod locker because they're, they're kind of small, right? So you might lose them. A uh, spare pair on the rod locker. I've got another pair in the house, but uh, you know, definitely have a, have a good pair of scissors on board. Uh, next up here, uh, we've got uh, this, this bigger tool that some of you may or may not have seen before. Um, and what this is, this is a CUDA hook cutter, right? So uh, you can see very long handles, very small jaws, right? Kind of similar to a bolt cutter, right? You want that leverage. So if you look, the, the jaws are very, very small, right? And they, they don't move a whole lot. You've got to really move the, the handle to, to get those jaws, right? So that gives you the leverage to, to cut those hooks and you can see how thick that is, right? And I have cut uh, three odd hooks out of bass uh, regularly and it, it's like butter. I mean, you really, you don't even have to try. Um, it works great, you know? Uh, fish, fish swallows the hook or, or, you know, gets it through a gill or something, I can't get it out. I'll, I'll cut it and pull the other half of it out the other way. Um, it works great. Uh, I, and again, uh, you know, you, you don't have to get the, the CUDA brand. I mean, the, the, the pliers are really, really nice. You know, those have, all these tools, you can, you can see they stay on the boat, right? They've, they've stayed out, they've been out in the rain on fishing trips. These pliers still look like the day I bought them. Those are not new pliers. Uh, the same with the scissors. Uh, you can actually see that the, the, the handles are discolored from, from so much use. Um, the, the hook cutter, on the other hand, um, you know, this, this is not titanium, uh, apparently. So uh, it has rusted a bit. Um, it still works just fine. You know, I, I just hit the, uh, the joint up there with a little bit of, little bit of oil to, to make sure that uh, everything was good. And, and I mean, they, they move freely enough, but you know, they, they are rusting up a little. So I'll probably replace those after another season or two maybe. Um, but overall, I, I do like that brand. They've got a ton of other tools. Uh, you, can, you can check them out. Again, not sponsored by them. I just, I've gone through a lot, a lot of crap, right? I've, I've used uh, Rapala pliers, I've used Berkeley pliers, all, all manner of nonsense, you know, and, and all of those, 
you know, same same deal as these, right? They have the split ring on the end and they're, they're long jawed and, and whatever. Um, I, coincidentally, the split ring, I mean, it's designed for split ring, um, but I like it because when you get a hook in there, uh, it makes it difficult for the hook to slide out of the end. You know, if the, right, you got a, you got a hook in there and the jaws are open a little holding out of that hook, you know, having, having that, that little split ring point on the end of those, on the end of that jaw like that, uh, really prevents that hook from, from pulling out of there while you're, while you're wrenching on it. So, um, but yeah, I just, I'm sharing what I've found works, uh, works really well for me and, and has lasted over the years. Um, you know, that, that's kind of my goal with all this, right, is to hopefully save some other people some, uh, some aggravation and, and some trial and error uh, on their part and, you know, wasting time and, and money and effort and, and so forth. Um, so then uh, this here, uh, this is a pair of hemostats. Um, and I wish I could tell you uh, what, uh, what brand these were. But uh, I got them on Amazon, right? This is, this is what they look like. Um, got them on Amazon. And of course, you know, they, they lock back here, right? Um, and then they've got this, this flat blade. And at first, I couldn't figure out what that was for. Um, but then one day, I, I did figure it out, right? I thought, wow, that's a really fucking weird place to put a screwdriver. And why wouldn't you put a Phillips one on there, right? No, that's, that's not what this is for. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. But uh, so the, the jaws on here, right? So the, you've got uh, the, at the very end of the jaws, hopefully I can, I can get this here. Let me open these up nice and, nice and wide. And hopefully, let's see if the camera wants to focus. There we go, perfect. So you can see at the very end of the jaws, it's flat. And then you've got some grip, right? And then behind that, you've actually got a pair of scissors, right? So why do I still carry scissors on the boat if I've got that? Well. <clears throat> these things are pretty long. I mean, look at, right? I mean, if I'm out in rough water banging around, I mean, I got like that. Or, you know, I'm just, you know, much, much more control with these, right? So back to the hemostats here, right? So you can, down at the end here, you can snap them shut, you know, grab a hold of a hook so you don't have to worry about holding it shut while you're wrenching it out. Um, but then the other nice thing that they've got on here is right here, you can see against my, uh, background on my finger they've got a uh um a jig buster right so you buy buy jigs and they've got uh uh you know the eyes are painted shut right the, the nice nice sharp point and then there's a hole in the other side of the arm which hopefully i can get to show up for you maybe yeah kind of i think you can see it there but uh yeah, so that that post fits into that uh, into that hole on the other the other arm, um, so that you don't have to worry about that that sharp post you know sticking out of there. Uh, so that brings me back to what this blade is for back here, right? So after you bust the paint through the eye of the jig, uh, you know, and then you flip the jig over and you and you do it again that way, uh, you use this this flat blade here on the end to scrape the paint off the sides of the eye, right? Because in, invariably, when you, when you punch that hole through it, um, you know, it, it's going to chip off some on one side or kind of loosen it up, right? But then you, you got to sort of pick it off of there yet. Uh, that's, that's what this, uh, this flat blade here is for on there. And it's, it's I mean, it, it's, it's not sharp, like you're not going to cut yourself on it, but I mean, it's, it's well pointed. You know, it's, it's certainly a, you know, a, a chisel edge. You know, you can, you can see that there. Hopefully the camera decides to focus on that now. Well, now I see why people don't try and film professional videos with cell phones, right? In any event, um, that's the tool. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. Um, so you know what it looks like, right? So Amazon's pretty good about pictures. I, I know that's where I got it from. Uh, I think it was about 20 bucks. Uh, and that's been, uh, that's been riding on the boat now for uh, uh, about two years, I think. Um, let me see, there's some kind of writing on there. Let me see if I can make that out. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, I don't know if you guys can, well, let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Come on, stupid camera, pick that up. Maybe I need less of a background for it. Come on. There it is, look at that. Dr. Slick is what that says. So that must be who makes these things. Uh, but if you don't have a pair or if you're in need of a new pair, get those, highly recommend them. Uh, the next thing, is uh, a hook file. And you can tell that this has been riding around on the boat for a while, right? It's a little, little rusty. Um, 
I'll probably replace this before our big uh, our big fall trip with uh, with one that's not quite so rusty. Uh, but this is just a hook file. Uh, it's for keeping hooks sharp, right? We we musky fish quite a bit, and uh, you want to make sure that those hooks are are sticky sharp. Uh, so carry this around. Um, and then uh, up there's there's one tool station up in the front of the boat here and another in the rear. Um, you know, so this is, this is what they look like. And, uh, you know, I'm honestly not sure, uh, who makes this, but, um, it is metal. Um, and they, they were a little bit pricey. I think it was about like $30 a piece. Um, but I want to say I got them from, uh, uh, either tackle warehouse or, or TH Marine. Um, I don't recall, but, uh, they, they hold everything really nicely. You know, everything. I mean, the, the big big players, right? Hemostats, um, you know, works great. So the uh, the hook cutters, unfortunately, don't fit because of uh, the large bolt, you know, that's that, that holds them together. It's a little bit too wide for that. Um, and uh, there's smaller holes, right? So you got three big ovals and two smaller ones. So you can put uh, scissors in there too, right? But... Uh, the, the bow of the boat kind of bounces a little more than the, than the rear of the boat uh, while we're underway and chops. So I don't want to lose these, so I don't store them there. But uh, I do put them there when, when we're out on the lake um, and I'm sitting up front here and I'm, and I'm fishing. So uh, that's a quick review then of, of uh, all the regular tools that, uh, that we carry on the boat. And uh, hopefully my neighbor's lawnmower didn't come through too bad in this video. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, uh, Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.